Colorado's wild horse population represents the majesty of the West, but federal roundups have led to the mysterious deaths of dozens of these beautiful animals. Good evening and thank you so much for watching Denver 7 News at 6. I'm Andrew Trujillo. And I'm Jacqueline Allen. Last year during a two week period, the Bureau of Land Management rounded up wild horses to control the population. Now those horses were brought to a facility in Canyon City where they stay until possibly being adopted. Denver 7's Bayon Wang joins us from that facility tonight where the BLM says dozens of horses have died over the past week. I've been in the horse business for over 50 years before I retired, and this is unheard of. Until April 23rd came around when an unknown disease spread in a Bureau of Land Management facility that's now holding more than 2,500 wild horses and burros. In a span of four days, BLM Colorado says 85 horses died. BLM is currently in the process of trying to determine what's causing these horses to become ill. While state, federal, and independent veterinarians investigate, animal activists like Grace Kuhn believe the answer is clear. Well, this is what happens when you cram thousands of wild horses into facilities. So every single year, they brutally stampede them with low-flying helicopters, funnel them into traps, separate them from their families, and then put them in these concentrated animal feeding operations that they call government holding facilities. According to BLM Colorado, gathering those horses is a way to protect against overpopulation and damage to public lands as horse populations double every four years. So I think most people agree that there is a place for wild horses on public lands. I think where there is a disagreement is there are people that think the wild be the dominant or only use of public lands, and that's just not something the BLM is capable of doing. Terry Hall is one of those people who disagrees. She organized a protest Tuesday showing their disdain for the BLM's approach to population control. We need to be told what happened to these horses. We need to give them back their land and stop rounding them up to begin with. While the roundups are not likely to go away anytime soon, BLM Colorado admits the recent incident is concerning. This is a tough situation for the horses. It's a tough situation for the BLM. It's a tough, situ tough situation for everybody who's involved. And we want to figure out what's going on and stop it as soon as possible. Right now, BLM Colorado is separating any horses showing symptoms of illness from the rest of the group. They said that they will perform necropsies of those horses that passed away and that they will provide those results to the public when it's available. We're in Canyon City, Bayon Wang, Denver 7. And let's give you some more context here. Back in 1971, the population of wild horses on public lands declined significantly because of humans. To help manage, protect, and control the population, President Nixon signed the Wild Free Roaming Horses and Borough Act, and this law is still intact and allows for BLM roundups. Now, back in September, Governor Polis reached out to the U.S. Department of the Interior asking for a six-month moratorium on roundups, and he was concerned with just how frequently they were happening. The BLM says roundups are necessary because there are too many wild horses for the land to sustain them. But environmentalists question if horses are the main concern here. It seems to be that the livestock industry is scapegoating wild horses for rangeland damage that's actually being done by livestock, which calls into the question whether that appropriate management level has anything to do with a thriving natural ecological balance at all, or whether what it's really set at is to keep the wild horse populations low. We want to hear from you now. What do you think of the wild horse roundups? Email us 360 at the denverchannel.com.